Welcome to the Knowledge Star. And today we're going to be talking about Canvas, right? ChatGPT's new writing and coding tool. And I just released, I think, about a week or two ago. So let me go ahead and share my screen. All right. So what we're going to do today, we're going to go through an overview. We're going to go through the intro and we'll go through a demo. And so a little quick uh, introduction myself. Yes, in the spirit of Halloween, Batman. Why? Because I am a systems leader by day uh, at my Bruce Wayne job. And I am the founder of the Knowledge Jar, where we do help creators and business turn knowledge into profit. So what is Canvas? Canvas is OpenAI's new workspace for ChatGPT that lets users write and code more efficiently. It does add a separate workspace next to the chat window um, where you can easily edit um, edit the prompts. You can write, you can uh, create code, and you're gonna see, see here shortly how easy it is to use. Where you're able to access it, uh, access it you just go to chatgpt.com uh, and go back over here for availability. It's only um, open to paid users. It's not open to the free user public um, population yet. Um, it is going, I guess plans are extended access to enterprise and education users. So in regards to automation, something cool with automation space, Canvas includes shortcuts for common tasks such as adjusting text length, debugging code, and you're even able to adjust the reading level. So you can even have it all the way to, uh, to college level to all the way down to like free kinder. You'll see that here shortly and a dedicated workspace. Oh, not quick. All right. Dedicated workspace where <clears throat> there is a separate window for writing and coding. So have you ever used uh, Claude AI's um, artifact, uh, artifacts? is similar in the style and the feel but just a little little bit different in the experience um and i you'll see that here in the right on the writing side so let's get into the demo move that over here move this over here so this is chatgpt.com i'm gonna go to chatgp 40 and what i'm gonna do is write a blog about what do you think about Top Golf? Top Golf, uh, Kelly. Let's do Top Golf. Top Golf. Okay, it's one word. <laughs> top Golf's one word. That's like, uh, that's, a, that's like the major bugaboo because people always get it as two words, and it's like, oh, it's one word. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's do this. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, it's coming no, no, up. It's that's, a, that's how it came up, though. It's it okay. I'll even be more specific. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say right, the name of golf. Right. A blog about top golf in Dallas, Texas. There we go. Okay, so it's right in the blog. Oh, and I'm so sorry. Here in the drop down, you want to select JATTPD 4.0 with Canvas. So there's this. All right, let's go back there. Poro with Canvas. All right, so right. It's one of those days, man. Write a blog uh, about top golf. And one word, thank you, uh, in Dallas, Texas. Cool. There you go. You see the difference in experience? So you now have a pop-up um, here on the left-hand side. What it will do is it's going to give you information of what it did. So here, um, Top Golf Dallas, Swing, Sip, and Socialize. You can see right here it gives information about uh, Top Golf in Dallas. And this, now let's get into some of the uh, formatting features. If I wanted to go ahead and change this so that way it's bold, I can just highlight it and just hit bold, right? Just like you would do in Word. And if I wanted to, let's see here, 
change this a let's make it a heading one so now it's a heading one which is a lot larger text size and if i didn't like this title i can highlight this i can ask chat gpt let's see here um rewrite this title to have compelling it's a compelling copy for a headline on a newspaper. I don't know. Hit enter. Newspaper. Whoa. Yeah, I know, right? So the Top Golf Dallas, where fun takes a swing, golf, games, and great times await. And let's see right here. Scroll down. I've updated the title to make it more compelling for a newspaper headline. Let me know if there's anything else you want to adjust. So did you see how quickly and easy it is to format the text? Um, let's do another one right here. So is this stuff on the left, is that kind of, um, is that more like the just regular chat GT, GPT and then the mm -hmm. middle is like the chat GPT with Canvas? Is that yep. kind of where it's going? Yep, just like in Claude, Claude Artifacts where you have okay. a, you call it a developer window. Yep. And then you have okay. that. Um, Canvas has the same experience where you have chat GPT on the left hand side and then you have your, let's say, output on the right hand side. So mm. here, you know, if you're in Dallas and you're looking for a fun way to spend your day and night, Top Golf is the place to be, whether you're a golf enthusiast, a casual player, or just looking for a unique place to hang out with friends, Top Golf Dallas delivers a one of a kind experience. This is in your average driving range. It's a high energy social outing with a mix of games, entertainment, food, drinks, and under one roof. This is good, but just say that I wanted to simplify it. I can highlight this and I can say simplify. Let's see what it does. Scroll down. Let me know if this works for you. Okay. I can also do this. Highlight it and I'm going to say make it more concise. Because I didn't like it. It should have been shorter. All right. That's ah, okay. Unless it unless it thinks it's it's good enough, it might be saying, <laughs> "Sorry, this is this is the best you're going to get." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's really good. So. Well, that is, so what you can do is highlight, and then you can ask it to make some adjustments to the text. And move this over here. So what ends up happening on your right hand side? And let me get this thing out of here. Uh, yes. I should be able to do this here because this is my uh, check for suggestions. Uh, nope. Uh, I'll turn that off real quick. Awesome. Okay. So now you're going to see some buttons that uh, pop up here on the right hand side that are available. So this first button right here is suggest edits. And so if I go ahead and click this twice, it's going to run and it's going to highlight suggestions right here to make right uh, so you can see right here I'm gonna make, make this okay so highlight it here consider adding a brief description of the location or setting to help readers visualize the experience more vividly I can go ahead and apply oh so it's adding different things to it yep I mean yeah kind of like grammarly right where yeah. it's gonna make a suggestion on the mm -hmm. grammar, well, okay. it'll do the same thing here. So it'll highlight in yellow. So you may want to emphasize how this technology enhances the competitive aspect, may it feel more like an interactive experience. Okay, highlight it. Look at that, pretty nice, huh? Yeah, that's amazing. It is. I you know, you know, my brother is at. Um, concert right now because of uh, his anniversary, but I told him I would show him this experience as well. So the next one is adjust the length, right? So if I click on this right here, oh, I can make it longer. 
right? Longest, shorter, shortest. So say if I just said longest. What do you mean? Longer, longest, what? So here, I'll show you. It's going to rewrite this whole blog to have more text. Oh, okay. And expand, right? And expand on the topic. Wow. All right. And if I go back over here, I say adjust the length. And I say shortest. Okay. It's going to take that input. There you go. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing, right? Matter of seconds. The next one, reading level. So if I wanted to, I can make it graduate school level. Which should be, I guess they're gonna be using really big words, is that it? Maybe. A comprehensive experience, I've never said comprehensive. That's, <laughs> we've never used that one word. <laughs> yeah, look at this, practical considerations. But you can see, um, the, I would say the tone and the style is not for children. Come on, can, young, yes, let's put it to young, really young. I want to see what it does for like the young kids. <laughs> there you go. Look at this. There's a lot of different games. You can play golf, playing the bass, different games. There are many types of games to play. I actually like this better. <laughs> it's, it's so, yeah. Uh -huh. so, yep, that's so you can adjust the reading level. So you got the length, you got the reading wow. level. You can add some final polish. And what this does, um, it's going to look through the context. So let's see, added some final polish and checking for grammar, making sure everything reads smoothly and consistently. Let me know if there's anything else you need. So made any type of adjustments. Uh, so that way you can publish it and be confident that the flow, right, um, is, really well, is really good. And so the next one is add emojis. So if I click on add emojis, Ah, it, it, it did add the little golf huh. bag. So something I learned when I was playing with this is that each one of these is a section, right? This by itself is like, think of a box. It's like a box. This is one section. This is yep. a section, right? So I can say, um, make sure there are only three uh, emojis across the entire blog. Let's see what happens here. So one, two, three. <laughs> I think it used one, two, three per section, right? So here I can say, I don't like that. Let's say, okay. I said, um, not, no, 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 it used only three, it only, did it use only, oh, I thought it was only using three. Yes, three per section. I'm going to say not three per section, but three. Um, for the total? I for three for, for the, the. Yeah, three total across, yeah. Across the, the three total. <laughs> okay, so it's still going, it's still. <laughs> It's still acting a little squirrely, but in well, general. Well, I guess the emojis, I mean, it's just, well, wait a minute. It's also kid. Would it also, would it do differently if it was targeted at, at adults? Would it do all those emojis? Yeah, let's check that out. So let's come back over here to reading level. I mean, I really don't know if it would do, if it would have so many emojis. So we change it. And then, and I guess you have to add the emojis now. Try here, add emojis. You're right. See, 
Yeah, it's probably because of the kids. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. It only added in a, it only added in the three that we wanted. You asked for three, and it gave you three. Yep. I can also highlight this, and I can add the um, highlight this right here, and then ChatGPT, and say, explain what are climate you probably know this controlled base All right so just in case hey i didn't know what climate control <laughs> base was. there you go so if you have a question right in the information you can highlight it go to ask chat gpt and then you know ask the question and then it'll display the explanation on the left hand side pretty cool huh oh wow so if you have a so scroll scroll down. Let me see what other things are there. So if you have a question about any of them, you could say you could ask. Mm -hmm. Oh, neat. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I want to show. So this is the writing style. Um, okay. I do want to show the code piece of it. So now let's do this here, and I'm gonna say create a game, um, a web based game of checkers. See, so much a Claude, it'll go ahead and create it for you. Oh, wow. So yep. I feel like all the colors mean something different than two, right? So this, this right here is just, Claude. so this is a script. The one thing that I haven't been able to see, like something, here's an example, right? A web-based checker game you can use to get you started. And okay. I can copy this and I can take this um, to an editor and then play with it. It's a little bit different than, um, than Claude because here I haven't been able to demo it like on, right, on here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But what I did do yesterday, and I wanted to see if this worked, was, watch this. Create, yeah, so create a checkers game, right, using the script below. Mm. And I wanted to see what would happen. So I used, right, Canvas, the Claude code that provided, right? Threw it into Claude uh -huh. artifacts, and I wanted to see if it worked. And it's going, it's going. We'll see. Because it's expanding it and including game logic, piece movement, and capture mechanics. It's doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, look how fast it's coding. Oh my, oh wow. So now, see? Cool, huh? Oh, you forgot, you didn't jump it. You should have jumped that red one. I should have. Let's see, I know, I'll just see. Well, we'll just see if it works. So yep. where did it go? Yeah, pretty neat, man. So this is an example of being able to, let's say create something create something in ChatGPT Canvas um, and then test it out in Cloud Artifacts. So, yep, yeah, it's a writing tool and a code tool. Uh, so I'm hoping to play so around wait. with it more, go ahead. So what is it only, it, it just gives you like, starts to give you the framework for the coding and then you put it in Claude and it, it'll, mm -hmm. it'll expand the code then. Yep, because watch this. Um, I did ask, create a demo for this game. Let's see here. Yesterday, I wouldn't do it. Let's see, I've added a reset game, it allows you to reset the demo. Can you create, um, can you launch the game? Can you launch the game? 
I'm going to save this as an HTML file. Open the save file in your browser by double clicking it. Okay. So save this uh, HTML file with HTML extension. Okay. Open this file in your browser. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go to Notepad. And here. Mm -hmm. I'll save as and desktop. All right. And then here, I should be able to just drag and drop it. Let's see, desktop. And I had it somewhere. Oh, it did work. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> you see, I'm clicking it right now. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, nothing. So, I would say that Claude is better at prototyping, but I do like the fact that you can create right in Canvas. And I really like the whole uh, writing, all the writing features that are available within Canvas. I wonder if you could do, um, like, I love logic puzzles, but I don't know if it could do, this is, you're making a game. So, I mean, you probably have to do that in Claude. I mm. probably, feel, what kind of um, puzzles would you like to see? Well, this is one of those, like the, I don't, like I said, I don't know if we can create it, like, they're like logic puzzles where you have, it's kind of like a um, checkerboard and you might have, like you say, you have, you have four friends and their names are, you know, Bob, Eddie, whatever. This one has blue eyes, green eyes, brown, you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Lock it up, lock it up. Whoa. <laughs> mm. It doesn't like that, but it doesn't give you like the checkerboard. I mean, the, the board to figure it out. Create a logic like puzzle. A Online Puzzle. game. Okay. Let's see what Claude does. He's the same thing, right? Yeah, it's, but it usually it's with the, I mean, they're all words. I, I was thinking more along the lines of more of a, a grid when you do the logic puzzles. So you can actually cross out the ones that aren't okay. correct, you know, figure it out logically. Mm -hmm. I have to work on that logic part. That's why I do logic puzzles. <laughs> Let's see here. Ooh. What's that? Try fixing with uh -oh. Claude. It says generate artifact. Yeah, I said there was an error, but let's see if it can be fixed within Claude. How? Like this? No, I mean that's a color logic one, I guess. So mm -hmm. it's not quite what it's, it's not what I'm thinking of, but I'll have to show you a picture of it sometime. Okay. No, well, it's like a, it's like a grid. So, yeah. That's I believe it. you. <laughs> All right. Well, this covers um, ChatGPT's Canvas. Um, it is a writing tool and also a code development tool. Um, let me know what you think, you know, in your comments and stuff when I publish it on YouTube. I'm surprised they went with the name Canvas, given the Canvas out there. I just, I mean, I just, it just sounds so similar. It's like, couldn't mm -hmm. they do something else? I don't know, blank slate, I don't know, something. So. Yeah. Well, the next uh, webinar, and I'll hope I will do it next week, will be the um, creating, uh, what do you call it? creating a podcast using text.
So that'll be pretty cool as well. Mm. well I think I'm going to go and try try making my own grid. I know what I'm looking for, so maybe I'll <laughs> play with it now and see what I come up with. That sounds good. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.